Hey guys, another video here from the engine shed and this one, as promised, is going to be looking at how to install a DCC chip into a DC worker. And basically how it's done is you know you've got your you open up your lurker, you've got your various wires in and everything, and I will talk through that in a second. But you want to open your lurker, take off your body shell. And the front of your lurker always wants to be facing to your left. And that's imperative, as you'll find out in a second. Um, so anyway, when you open your lurker, you'll find all the old bits of wiring from, for the DC system. So you've got like your two pickups either side, and they'll be they're basically going to the motor on either side. Just pretty simple. You've got it. Um, normally, you've got a resistor and everything. You want to chop all that out, clean up the wires around your motor, the left and right of your motor. You'll have two pickups either side of your motor, just like so. And you clean up around there, take all the wires off. Now, with your DC chip, this particular one, I've used a Hornby one that it's just I've got it in, in normal electrical insulating tape. And that's just for the reason of so when it's touching as it's touching the motor there where it where it sits and like where it's housed if you will it's just so it doesn't short out or you know break the chip or anything like that um yeah so what you want to make sure is is the wires are going to be the length are going to be the right length for where your chip's going to be housed you need to look in the body of the look where you know whether it be a steam oil, diesel, or sometimes even with the the smaller steam ones. You know, yeah, there's not not enough space inside, so you you have to put them in the tent and things like that. That's a little bit more sort of on the other side, but you know this one there is space for it, so I fitted it in and it just sits just up there on the cab. And as it's black electrical tape, you don't actually really notice it that much. So what what I want to basically show you is um, how to fit it, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, so you want your lurker facing to the left always. That's imperative. Now with this particular lurker, obviously there's no lights or anything like that in it. Um, you get the instruction manual what comes with the chip, and there's actually only four wires you'll need, um, which is your orange, your grey, your black, and your red. Now if you look, your orange is to the motor right, your grey is to the motor left, your black is to the left reel, and your red is to the right reel. So that basically means is, your red is going to the right reel, that's your pickup on the right of the logo, and your black is going to the left pickup on the logo. The orange is going on the right of your motor and your grey is going to the left. It seems pretty simple. Um it is once you get the hang of it. Obviously make sure all your wires are the correct length and you you're gonna have enough wire or anything. Chop the four wires off that you don't need in this case. Obviously there's no lights or anything like that. If you have got lights if you refer to this this actually tells you what to do, which way goes where. So, with that in mind, we've got this red wire. It loops around underneath this one, but actually goes to the pickups on this side. And what you'll find is with a lot of these steam workers, is there's a ground point on the top of the counterweight. The counterweight just basically to stop it um, falling. You know, it gives it like a centre point of gravity when it's around the track, especially on like corners and things like that. Um, obviously not like right angle corners, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, so there's a ground point on this, and what I actually have done is obviously this is all heat shrinked, and you know, it's got the electrical little piece of wire to uh, the flat wire just to pick up the electrical current, because this counter weight is fixed to the. Sorry, just bear with us. Is to the left pickup. There's a little spring in 
under there's a little spring underneath and that's attached to the pickup on the left side so what I've done is I chopped rather than cutting all this wire out here is I've actually chopped it and I've soldered it to the black obviously on the chip um, and that, that just sits under there that, that's it there um, that's, that was just rather than you know dismantling this bit here and then fixing it there and you know it was just easier just to do that and I mean with the type of cove wire this is um, I don't really recommend using wire strippers I mean you can do if it works but my results I find just using a normal craft knife um, I'll just sort of demonstrate uh, and you, you just you know, make an incision and just cut it along like that flip it over see on the other side two little nicks and there, there's your bare wire and in soldering these wires together obviously you will need you will need a soldering iron I prefer using a 40 watt one any higher than that um, it's not that really necessary that's that's pretty ideal for the the work we're doing here as well as like track work and stuff like that um, you will need solder obviously or solder if you're American but we're not American here so we're not going to use that they've always got to have that you know their their way their version of something anyway um, and you will need flux I do re really recommend strongly recommend using the flux you get the best results with it you don't you know get messy bits or blebby bits or you know little little balls forming and stuff like that it's you know, nice neat and it's professional using flux Um, you know get yourself some flux and use it basically Um, so anyway once you've got your wire stripped what I do is I just dip it into the flux obviously your solder and iron's heated up put a little bit of solder on the end and then just run it across and it'll tin the wire for you do that to both of these wires bring them together you can use I didn't at the time when I had it but you can use a third hand tool which I got from Hattons um, and I thought it was a bargain five pound not too bad it's got a little magnifying glass there for when you're doing fine detail work or if you're doing painting or whatever like that but anyway so you know just turn them together and what I used is just common electrical insulating tape that's all I used I mean a lot of people prefer using heat shrink but it, it's a clot on if you ever do need to get back to them wires for any reason or whatever it's it's a right clot on getting to them Um, you know uh, so I just I just use this I mean I have used heat, heat shrink on other things but at the time I didn't have any and I used this and I, I mean I'm glad I used this because it's you know it's better than anything else to be honest yes so you want to clean all your wires off around here locate your two pickups obviously lo locate them first the two pickups on the left side and the right side of your motor take all the wires off all the solder and everything clean them up take your resistor and everything off Um, don't need it for this and then your grey wire just the same process stripping the wire, tidding it and then bringing it on, soldering it too and the same on the other side for the yellow, sorry the orange to the right and that's basically it you know, just make sure that your DC chip can be housed make sure the wires are long enough to where it's going to be housed make sure you locate your pickups make sure that you really read this and fully understand it you know, and you, you can't go wrong with this. I mean, this was the first look what I did. Um, I will admit it. Uh, I, f I first did it, and one of my connections hadn't made quite a good connection. I put it on the track, and it didn't work. So on investigation, I f found the problem, solved it, put it on, absolutely perfect. Never, ever had to do anything to it since. And, I mean, you know, hopefully this video will help you. Um... <laughs> hopefully this video will help you out if you're struggling and you don't quite understand it there are a couple of videos out there um, Intercity 82 do a one um, 
I'm sure there is a couple more. Uh, Inner City 82 is they're basically doing a diesel locomotive with the two boogies and things. Um, you see, it gets a little bit more complicated. With sometimes depending on what they've got in them, uh, yeah, and the problem to put on really long wires and that, like especially with the when the motors is mounted in the middle and both motors and both boogies are driven. Um, you'll have like pickups over here and pickups over here. So you know, you find your best place for it, then obviously you'll have to lengthen some wires to go from here to the chip. Um, but with steam, you generally steam lookers, you generally don't need to do that unless there's no room whatsoever in the actual lurker, in which case you'll have to put it in the tender, um, which involves drilling small holes, um, and obviously, you know, a little bit more work than what we've done here. But other than that, you know, you, you can't really go wrong with these things, as I say. It's the first look where I've done, I've achieved obviously the best results because it works, not a problem whatsoever, and it's you know it's perfect and it's on the track, you know, champion. Um, my next video, what I will be showing you is, um, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube about different weathering techniques and things, and then um, what I've basically done here is weathered a little ore hopper. I mean, I've obviously quite heavily weathered this. With it being an ore hopper, it'll, you know, get lots of lots of hide about and spillages and you know, it's just sit there and get rusty and you know, it, I think it's from my first attempt of weathering, you know, it's it's pretty nice, it's pretty good. So what I will be doing is practicing on a couple of others, getting my technique down to a T, and hopefully do a video on that for you guys. Um, so basically I hope this video has been helpful um, if there's any questions just please comment below um, and thank you very much for watching please subscribe thank you